Well, Solidus, or whoever you are, you can have the presidency back. I would have never succeeded you had I known about them. Yes, it's true. Both our administrations had to endure their nightmarish hegemony. But unlike you, I actually did something about it. Covertly gathering the power and resources I would need to eventually usurp their rule. And it was all going quite well. Until they learned of my complicity in attempting to steal Metal Gear Rex from Shadow Moses. I knew then it was just a matter of time before I would be removed from office. So I had no choice but to beat them to the punch. The Paris Hotel bombing. An assassination smokescreen meticulously staged to enable my escape from their retribution. It was perfect, even managing to smear Solid Snake as the terrorist responsible. Presumed dead, I went underground and with Ocelot's help gained control of Dead Cell and Colonel Golukovich's private army to form the Sons of Liberty. From there, I bided my time, knowing that my opportunity would soon arrive. That same opportunity knocks for you, James. I want you to understand, I'm not doing this because it's the right thing to do. I'm doing this because there's just no other option. I sat in that damned Oval Office for years, just letting those criminals walk all over me and the country. I... I just couldn't stand by and allow it to continue anymore. I know. It was an untenable situation for both of us. But with this, you can fight back. The power is in your hands now. And all it'll cost me is being forever known as a traitor and a terrorist. I'm afraid there's no turning back now, Mr. President. One of their agents is on board, and I'm not sure if I can stop him before he does irreparable damage to our cause. Too much is at stake. We must ensure that the unit goes online. Yes. Yes, of course. It's done. The code is entered. Very good. Our liberation has begun. How are you doing, kid? Doing? I'm crammed into a claustrophobic air vent that probably goes nowhere. How the hell do you think I'm doing? Hey, one of us has to see if it connects to the President's holding cell. And Lord knows, you're a hell of a lot skinnier than I am. Keep me posted. Snake out. Otacon, do we have a confirmation? Good news and bad news, Snake. The good news is the data that Ninja gave you checks out. And the bad. My sister Emma is one of the senior programmers for the Metal Gear project. Just as we thought. She's most likely one of the hostages on board. Snake, we need to find her. She may be our only hope to find a way to stop this new Metal Gear. <sighs> Great. Another Emmerich. Another Metal Gear. Huh. That's some family you got there, Otacon. Who? President Johnson. So, you're finally here. Go ahead and be done with it. I'm prepared to face the consequences of my betrayal. Are you alright, sir? Are you injured? Uh, I don't understand. You are the Patriot's assassin, aren't you? Uh, no, sir. I'm with Foxhound. 
I'm here to rescue you. Fox out. I see. This must be part of the S3 program. Look, it's my understanding that the terrorists have managed to input the code sequence necessary for launching a nuclear strike. That's correct. I punched in the sequence myself. So it's true. You are working with them. If you asked me two hours ago, my answer would have been yes. But right now, they're just keeping me alive until my vital signs are confirmed. But you're the President of the United States. How could you even... Son, I'm just a figurehead. I have no power. The real power is in the hands of the Patriots. They're the only truth behind the fraud that is the U.S. government. I'm not surprised you've never heard of them. Very few are aware of their existence, even among those with code word clearance. Politics, the military, the economy, they control it all. They even choose who becomes president. Putting it simply, the Patriots rule this country. Look, I know this is hard to believe, but it's the God's honest truth. This country is shaped and controlled as the Patriots see fit. The people are shown only what they want them to believe. What you call government is actually a well-staged production aimed at placating the public just enough so that the silent majority remains silent. No one knows who their actual members are. Not even me. The orders the Patriots send me come down from a series of untraceable cutouts. All I've been told is that every key decision is made by a group of 12 men known as the Wise Men's Committee. I don't care who or what they are. Nothing you've done justifies acts of terrorism. You don't understand. My intention was to use the new Metal Gear as a bargaining chip. Bargaining chip? But Metal Gear Ray isn't enough of a- Ray? Good lord. Don't you have any idea what's going on here? Ray is not the new Metal Gear. This is the new Metal Gear. What do you mean? You're standing on top of it, son. This entire facility, all of Big Shell, is just camouflage for the newest and most powerful incarnation of Metal Gear. Arsenal Gear. That's right, Arsenal. We're talking about an impregnable fortress, carrying a couple of thousand warheads, and protected by a horde of mass-produced Metal Gear Ray units. Mass-produced Ray units? So now the anti-Metal Gears are actually guarding a Metal Gear? Ironic, isn't it? But it's more than just a military tool they're guarding. Arsenal Gear also contains the most powerful AI ever conceived. Once it taps into and co-ops independent computer systems, it will control the global flow of information, firmly establishing the Patriots' rule in perpetuity. Bottom line, Arsenal will be the foundation of the Patriots' power base, the key to their supremacy. Oh, whoa. Oh. You gotta give me a second here. This is a lot to digest. No. I have to do this now. What the? There's no time to argue. The final check for my vital ID will start any second. If you kill me now, you'll at least prevent a nuclear strike. Stop! Do it, damn it! That's your role! No! But I didn't! That's abusing your right to free speech, Mr. President. Or should I say, ex-president. Ocelot! You son of a... Don't test me, carrier boy. My skill with this code transcends mere linear trajectories. Three banks. Corner pocket. <laughs> Uh, 
Understand? Now lie face down with your hands behind your head. You have proven to be quite the annoying... I thought I made it clear that your part in this play is over, Mr. President. Now stop ruining the script. Insolent whelp! I told you not to test me, boy. Looks like you don't have what it takes after all. What the? Leave this to me. You! But you died! I'll keep him busy. Get away. Hurry! This is getting insane. I'd better find Snake. Snake, it's Otacon. I've hacked into the terrorist communications. Emma is being held in a locker room located in the northwest part of level B1. What's your status? Wet and miserable. The place is flooded. The seawater that's been pumped up is pouring into the building. I'm gonna have to dive and take a look-see. Diversion. Easily worth the wait. You knew I was coming. You and that boy have become a nuisance. We can't let you interfere with Arsenal here. The girl is just ahead. She's of no use to us now. But she still serves well as bait. Crazy Ivan sometimes speaks the truth. Crazy Ivan? Ocelot. Final check for arsenal activation is complete. Uh, All arsenal personnel report to your stations. Too late. Repeat. All arsenal personnel report to your stations. Damn it. Time to face the music snake. Take a good long look at your grave. <laughs> Did you honestly think you could stop us from activating Arsenal Gear? It ain't active yet, pal. There's still time. Time is a luxury you can no longer afford, my friend. Once the Sons of Liberty control Arsenal, the Patriots will be forced to bow down before us. The world will finally be free of their oppression. Free to enjoy all the sunshine and lollipops that a lovable terrorist organization like yours will provide instead. <laughs> I think I can speak for the rest of the world. Blow it out your ass.
Your incessant blathering is only stoking my thirst. A thirst that desperately needs slain. Getting all hot and bothered, huh? Why don't you just cool off? Otacon, it's Snake. I cleared a path to your sister. Get in touch with Raiden for me. Raiden, it's Camel. What's the status of the President? He's dead, sir. But he did manage to activate the Black Case. Also, I'm afraid he was complicit with the Sons of Liberty in the Big Shell terrorist plot. A traitor. I see. We'll just have to deal with the repercussions of that later. At any rate, I commend your actions in eliminating his threat. What? I didn't do it. Ocelot killed him. Really? Well, just as long as it was done. I'm not an assassin, Colonel. You are what we made you. You perform the tasks we deem necessary. Why don't you tell me who this we is, Colonel? Raiden, please. There are times when we have to do things we don't like. For a greater cause. <sighs> I can't believe this crap. Snake would never... Don't let your guard down around him. He's not part of the simulation, and not to be trusted. Simulation? Colonel, what are you talking about? And didn't you work with Snake before? I'm just telling you to be careful, soldier. Nothing is what it seems. Yeah, I'm starting to see that now. Listen to the Colonel, Raiden. We're just looking out for your best interests. Raiden, it's Snake. Come in. Yeah? Well, my best interests currently lie with this transmission. Colonel, Rose, it's been enlightening. Thank you. Raiden, out. Jack, wait! Snake, it's Raiden. What's up? I may have found a way to stop the new Metal Gear, but I need you to secure the computer room on the Shell 1 core in order to do it. Affirmative. I'm on my way. <laughs> Emma Emmerich. Huh? You have to be Solid Snake. My brother told me all about you. Um, well, don't believe half of what he says. I'm really not that bad of a guy. Otacon, I mean, Hal, told me you helped program Arsenal Gear. We need to hack into it to stop it before it's launch capable. Stop Arsenal? Wow. I don't know. Arsenal possesses a dynamic artificial immune system that's capable of neutralizing any core function incursions. Plus, after it went online, it immediately locked out external access to its own network even from Arsenal programmers like myself. However, I just might have snuck a little trapdoor inside the code that I can open up to plant a virus. Let's see what we have here. Ah, here it is. This is one of my best and nastiest. But it operates more like a worm cluster than a virus. A delayed effect autonomous program designed to invade Arsenal's cerebrum and render its control functions useless. Uh, sure. Whatever you say, kiddo. Just as long as it does the job. Man, you're Otacon's sister, all right. Problem is, I can't remote access Arsenal from here. I'm way ahead of you. The computer room is being prepared for us as we speak. Stay behind me. What's wrong? Nothing. Let's get the hell out of here. The connecting bridge on the upper level was destroyed. We'll have to take the oil fence pontoon bridge at Strut L.
So, what's Arsenal Gear's computer system supposed to do anyway? It's a massive data processing system designed to administrate digital information on a global scale. Magazines, newspapers, television, the internet. You name it, Arsenal will control it. <sighs> Manipulating the public to fall in line with the Patriots' world domineering agenda. <sighs> so that's why they created it. And why the Sons of Liberty want it so badly. But the AI isn't quite ready yet. It still lacks the necessary functions for dealing with certain scenarios. To remedy that, plans were made for a major experiment to provide complex data for it to study. Something called S3, I think. Anyway, once Arsenal gets going, it won't be easy to stop. It's protected by an army of Metal Gear rays, armed with just about every munition known to man, including nuclear weapons, and is fully equipped with cyber-terrorist countermeasures. Lucky for us, I'm not your average cyber-terrorist. Vamp! Emma, look out! Snake, you have underestimated me so badly. Insult to injury, I believe it's called. Now it's my turn. But in her case, I think I'll just forego the insult. <laughs> no! Drop the gun or I pull the knife and she bleeds out. You don't want her to die, do you? Snake! How? It hurts. Oh, it hurts. Isn't that just hot? Breaking. Hmm. What about when I twist it oh so slowly? Ah! Emma! You vicious son of a bitch. You have failed, Snake. The girl will die. Arsenal will be ours. And there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. your crap! Just die already! Otacon, Raiden, the knife is out! Get ready for us in the computer room. I'm gonna need something, anything, to stop this bleeding. You're losing it, Ocelot. I mean, really. You might as well just let go and hand me the reins already. Didn't you see what happened down there? He's doing it again. Snake is picking everyone off one by one, just like he did on Shadow Moses. Mantis, Wolf, Raven, Octopus, Vamp. Oh, the list goes on. As I recall, Liquid, you're on that list too. Dead as a doornail, just like all the others. Ah, but that's just not true, now is it? I live inside you now, Ocelot. Both of us cellmates in that skull prison of yours. However, we can't both exist in this crowded space much longer. A mental breakdown is imminent. Very soon, one of us will be forced to vacate the premises for good. And I think we both know who that will be. Better start packing your bags. Shut up! Shut up! Shalashaska, who are you talking to? Talking? Uh, just, um... No one! Never mind. And? Where is he? Where is Vamp? Vamp? Vamp is dead. No. I don't believe it. You should. I saw Snake and the boy kill him with my own eyes. <laughs> Compose yourself, Fortune. 
You'll have your revenge on Snake soon enough, I assure you. Look at it this way. At the very least, you'll have the boy at your disposal. You mean Raiden? What is she talking about? Just a special arrangement, courtesy of Olga. I've let Ripper run free long enough. It's high time he and I had a nice, long chat. Ocelot, I want you to make preparations on Arsenal for his arrival. Understood? Yes, brother. Did he just call me... brother? How's she doing? Not good. But she's a fighter. Emma. I'm almost done. Uploading the virus. Sorry, Hal. Uh, I feel so weak. It's okay. You're doing great. Snake, is she? I've done everything I could. She doesn't have much time. I'm sorry, Hal. Guys, you better get over here. Hal? Yes, Emma. I'm here. It's done. The virus is active. I'm gonna close my eyes for a bit. I'm very tired now. That's it. You rest now, Emma. You... you... you've earned it. Snake. Something's wrong here. The upload stopped at 90%. What happened? I don't know. I don't think Emma made any mistakes. It's possible an arsenal antibody might have recognized the worm cluster and killed it. So now what? What if the virus doesn't work? We either destroy arsenal gear, or take out Solidus and his men. Please tell me there's a third option. Attention! Arsenal gear is ready for launch. Evacuate the upper levels immediately. Sounds like they're cutting Big Shell loose. We have to get aboard Arsenal before it starts moving. What about the hostages? Otacon, I'm sorry, but you gotta get to the hostages and lead them out to the evacuation area, now! What about my sister?! Listen, I know this is difficult, but we only have a few minutes left before Arsenal rises from the riverbed and starts plowing through Big Shell deck by deck. Your sister's chances... Please, don't say it! I... I understand what I have to do. I'll take care of it. See that hatch, kid? That's our way to Arsenal. And how the hell do we open it? Don't worry. I've made special arrangements. Good luck, Hal. I'll be in touch. So what is this special arrangement? It's just a little something I cooked up a while back. As a matter of fact, you play an integral part in it. Don't turn around. The ninja! Get down on your knees and put your hands behind your head, slowly. I'm sorry, Ryden, but this is the way it has to go down. Snake, what the hell is going on? You've changed sides? I don't recall ever saying I was on your side, kid. We still need you to take care of the things. Try not to fail us. Who? That face. Oh, well done, Olga. He never suspected a thing. Happy birthday, Ripper. Yours. Now, blow out the candles. Ten of them. One for each year of my life. Solidus calls them Liberian terrorist scum. He tells me they've killed innocent Americans, that they deserve to die. I don't care. I only know what I have to do. 
I lightly caressed the man's neck with the edge of the blade, as though preparing for the first stroke of a shave, feeling it out, searching for just the right. Ten. That's it, boy. Keep going. Nine. Blow them all out. You don't get your wish. I don't care. Eight. My wishes never come true anyway. That's my little Jack the Ripper. Solidus. My so-called father. He seems proud of me. I don't care. Seven. I'm ten years old today. And I don't care about anything anymore. Right, stop! Don't give in to this! Colonel Campbell? This was 20 years ago. How can he be here? You mustn't allow this to continue, right? Solidus is tampering with your mind. Don't believe any of this. All this, all you see here now, it's all a lie. Please, Jack, listen to the Colonel. He's trying to help you. Rose, but how? Don't believe one word of their crap, Ripper. I can promise you, this is all very real. This is 1990. This is Liberia. This is your past. End of story. But... but I... Look at me, boy. Who are you gonna believe? Me? Or these Patriot spies? I... I don't... Lies, Ryden. All lies. I raised you as if you were my own son, Jack. Who the hell are they? Do you really know who they are? I... I don't... I don't care! I don't... No! 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 Interesting. A third party is attempting to restrict access to his cerebral implants. Someone or something doesn't want me tampering with his memories. But how is that possible? Arsenal Gear's hull is impenetrable to any outside signals. Look internally then. Check the logs to make sure no one is tampering with Arsenal's AI. Yes, King. Where am I? How did I get here? Ah... Welcome back to the land of the living, Ripper. You're inside the stomach of Arsenal Gear. To answer your other question, my troops found you unconscious outside of Arsenal's hatch. It appears your so-called allies betrayed you and left you to die. But don't fret. Not all was lost on your mission. Those hostages you were supposed to rescue managed to safely escape Big Shell. Before Arsenal Gear's launch destroyed it. Oh, it's just a shame. All your efforts have merely delayed the inevitable. In one hour, we will demonstrate the full power of Arsenal Gear. And finally, the Patriots will be brought to their knees! Solidus... What... What have you done to me? Me? Why, I've done you a great service, boy. For years, the Patriots cultivated your dissociative amnesia, using drugs, brainwashing, and synaptic nano-manipulation. I'm merely unlocking the doors in your mind. Giving you back your long lost childhood memories. Yes. 
I can see it in your eyes. You're beginning to remember it now. The late 80s, the Liberian Civil War. You were one of my best child soldiers then. Your outstanding kill record earned you several nicknames, including White Devil and Jack the Ripper. The sad fact is, you were too good. Your bloody exploits caught the attention of my erstwhile employers back home. The Patriots. It wasn't long before their agents stole you away from me. All that work, all that time I invested in raising you after your parents were killed. Gone in an instant! But... why are you doing this? Why restore my memories now? Well, I could say it's because I'm a compassionate human being. And that I care about your well-being. But the truth is, I'm searching for something. A small piece of data tucked away within the recesses of your mind. And I'll eventually find it. But for now, I think you've endured enough mental stress. I don't want to overcook that mushy brain of yours. Yet. So for the intermission, I leave you in Ocelot's capable hands. A pleasure, as always. What is this nostalgic feeling I have right now? Deja vu? It's almost as if I'm lost in the memory of Shadow Moses. You know, Snake was quite strong back then. He took everything I threw at him, and more. I wonder, will history say the same about you? Let's find out. Ocelot, allow me a lucid moment with the prisoner before you damage him irrevocably. A foul wind is blowing. Conserve your strength. You'll need it when I return. Do not move. We are being monitored. Switch over to nano communication. Olga Gurlukovich. You're the one Snake fought on that tanker two years ago. You're also the ninja. Yes. As I said before, I was sent to provide you support. Support? By knocking me out and handing me over to the enemy? How else were you going to get inside Arsenal gear? Who sent you? The Colonel? No, I was sent by... The Patriots. The Patriots? But why? Why? I'll tell you why. The bastards are holding my child hostage. I have no choice but to be a part of their damned S3 program. S3 program? What exactly is- Hush, and listen. My role was to assist you. If Solidus gets away with Arsenal, your mission is a failure. Which would in turn mean my mission is a failure. So you see, my child's life depends on your success. Then get me out of this thing! I'll release your restraints after I leave this room. This door heads to a hangar. Your gear will be waiting for you there. So how the hell do I destroy Arsenal gear? Will the virus we planted do the job? No. You damaged Arsenal's AI. But it's impossible to completely destroy this thing. Your only other option is to stop Solidus and his men from using it. And what are you gonna do? Whatever is necessary to save my child. Brace yourself. <coughs> Patriot scum. I'm gonna feel that tomorrow. Dryden, do you copy? Colonel, I've lost all my gear. I can't do much naked, especially in this temperature. Dryden, take out Solidus and his men. You must recover Arsenal intact. 
intact, huh? Seems to me there are only two parties that would want Arsenal gear intact. And Solidus is one of them. What do you mean? Damn, more guards. This is gonna be tougher than I thought. Colonel, what do you know about the Patriots? The Patriots? Never mind that. Just focus on your role. That is your mission to take out... My role? What are you talking about? Colonel, are we... Are you under orders from the Patriots? Our... My point is that you play out your part, and I expect you to turn in a perfect performance. You know, Colonel, I just remembered something. I've never met you in person. Not once. Colonel? Oh boy. The army of Metal Gear Rays. Here to protect Arsenal from guys like me. Guess it's a good thing I don't look like much of a threat right now. You there! Stop! Oops. Brighton, this is Colonel Roy Campbell, your commanding officer. I order you to complete your mission according to the simulation. Give it a rest. You're not Campbell. Who the hell are you? No more questions. We have Rosemary. What? Rose? Colonel! Colonel, answer me, you son of a bitch! Kill him! Uh-oh. You should stop all this nonsense, right? I mean, really. This is just a simulation anyway. Your perception isn't reality. Never has been. Where is Rose, Colonel? Put her on! None of this is really happening. So dizzy. What the hell is going on? Whoa. Oh, what the hell was that? Just... Forget him for now. Gotta keep moving. Right. Listen, something happened last Thursday. When I was driving home, you see, I had a couple of miles to go, and I looked up, and I saw a glowing orange object in the sky to the east. But it was moving very irregularly. And suddenly, there was intense light all around me. And when I came to, I was home. So what do you think happened to me? You just shut the hell up! You're completely out of your mind! No! Okay. I'm starting to get a little worried about my own sanity now. It's because of what she did, right? That horrible, horrible thing she did. That's why things are going so wrong. What? Colonel, or whoever you are, what are you talking about? Do you mean Rose? Is she... Emma. Emma? Wait a minute. The virus. Arsenal gear. Why did Emma hurt us like that? Jack. Rose. Are you okay? Jack, I'm sorry. I had no choice. That will do, Rose. As you can see, right, she's unharmed. For the moment. Colonel, or whatever it is you are, you'd better not touch a hair on her head. Sorry to inform you, but you're in no position to be making demands. We've been patient long enough. It's time to fulfill the destiny we've laid out for you. Carry out S3. Or Rose dies. Wait! You have to tell me what S3 is! Rose! I worry about you, kid. I leave you alone for just a few hours, and already you're buck naked and mumbling to yourself. Snake! 
You hung me out to dry! Don't you get up with me, kid. You lied to me. Knocked me unconscious. And left me to be tortured to death. I'll give you up, Eddie, you manipulative son of a... Enough. Now, control yourself or I'll put you down for good. Look, I had no choice. Using you as bait was the only way to gain access to Arsenal. Here's your gear. Now put on your suit before you catch cold. Or I get nauseous. It took me and Otacon a while to figure it out, but we finally know what your story is, kid. Don't bother. Solidus already told me. The Patriots have been using Arsenal's supercomputer to mess with my head. I'm afraid so. Arsenal was most likely stimulating activity in the dormant part of your brain through signal manipulation of your own nanomachines. The kernel was just part of your own creation, cobbled together from expectation and experience. So, Campbell doesn't exist at all. Oh, he exists, but he retired shortly after the Shadow Moses incident. Your colonel, however, is just a figment of yours in the Patriot's imagination. You know, I think the virus Emma put into Arsenal's system is actually starting to affect it. What do you mean? The fake colonel, I mean Arsenal's AI, was displaying really bizarre behavior and blamed Emma for harming it. Maybe so, but we don't have time to wait for the virus to finish the job. From what I can tell, Arsenal is headed for Manhattan. I don't know what Solidus is planning, but we have to stop it before it gets there. One way or another. Here, you'll need this Stinger missile launcher. There's a troop of production model rays ahead. How many units? Twenty-five, according to Olga. Twenty-five? Yeah. Can't say I've faced that many Metal Gears before, but I think we can deal. Come on, Snake. There's no way that we can deal. Wrong. We can, because we have no other choice.